Hello and welcome to another productivity on the Mac video here. And if you're on the PC, these type of things can work for you as well. And just check out the website. There's some videos about it. So what I'm going to tell you about this time is about something that can help you out with research. Anyone who's doing research papers for college or someone who's just doing some type of term paper that involves citations is going to probably be frustrated by all the work and detail that goes into citing your works. So you know that you have to get things into the proper format, your books, your articles, whatever, and each department has their specific format and way that they would like you to do everything. You have to also make sure that when you do this, you get everything perfect to the letter. So how do you manage this type of thing? Well, one, you can just do everything manually, make sure to copy and paste it. Um, two, you can buy something like EndNote, which previously had been the, the standard in this type of thing. And EndNote will manage all your citations for you and also allow you to um, use it in a word processing program. Or more recently, since more and more technologies have been uh, become available to be used inside of your browser, there are browser-based programs that can help you manage all the citations. So one I was just told about by Dan Hermstad from San Francisco State is this great program called Zotero. Why do I like it? Well, first, it's free. Next, it's for Windows, Mac, or Linux. So everyone can use the dang thing. Um, and then beyond that, it's something that not only plugs into your browser and manages everything there, but it also has plugins for programs on Windows and Mac and I think maybe Linux too. Specifically for me, since I'm using a Mac and since this is a Mac-based productivity video, of course, I'm going to be talking about its features for the Mac. So it can plug into the word processors in Mac of um, Office 2004 and 2008. I have 2008 and I will be showing you how to do it with that. So let's check it out. What do you have to do, first of all, to install the thing? It doesn't really tell you directly on here. It's pretty easy, but for people who aren't as computer savvy, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you can just go um, to here and hit Try Out Beta. Why do I want to have the beta one? Well, a beta is a newer version of a program that's not totally stable yet. It hasn't had all the bugs knocked out. But I want to use it because of this. Notice that it's compatible with all these programs. OpenOffice, so if you're not using um, Microsoft Word or something, you'd rather use OpenOffice, you can use that. But more importantly for me, it's compatible with Word 2008 for Mac, which is what I use. Yay, that's what I want. So I'm going to go over to it, and uh, I'm going to click Try Out the Beta. So you do this, click Allow, and then this install software thing comes up for Firefox. It says, hey, make sure this thing isn't something that's going to hurt your computer. You say, yes, I know it's not. So click install now. So it installs it, and then it requires you to restart Firefox. So hit restart Firefox. And it will try to open your tabs and stuff. Okay, fine. We hit restart. And we wait a bit, and Firefox restarts and opens the windows I had previously opened. Yay. Now, what you're going to notice now is something appears down at the bottom bottom right of your screen. It says Zotero. So we're going to click on that. If you click on that, check it out. This whole new screen thing pops up that allows you to do all your editing. Sweet. You have a built-in Firefox-capable research tool. We're going to get rid of that for the moment. Next, what we want to do is we want to use this thing in our word processing program. So what you're going to do is you're going to click install Python X from Zotero.org. Why? Because this is for the Mac version, assuming you're using Microsoft Word 2008. So we click this. Notice again, I'm using Firefox 3.5. So make sure you know which version you're using. I recommend 3.5 and then installing it here. So you'll install this, restart Firefox, then you'll install the Word Mac plugin and restart. And finally, uh, use this script thing here. So let's do that. Click it. It's saying, hey, do you want to really do this? Yes, allow. So we'll install some program. Great. Restart Firefox. 
Okay, great. Now we've restarted Firefox and we want to install the Word for Mac plugin. Allow. We wait. Downloads. Stall. Restart. Okay, we've got all that. And then if we click here, it uses the Word script menu. This shows us that since Word 2008 got rid of its plugin capabilities, um, it now has to use this Apple script menu. That doesn't make a difference to us, really. We have shortcut ability and other things. You can read about it here if you care. The point is we can still use it as a plugin for Word. Okay, so now we have all the necessary requirements. We have all this junk installed. We have Zoltero down here. And we're going to have the ability to use it in Word. So now that we're here in Word, you're going to notice that in the top right of the text menu, you have something that says Zotero now. Check it out. And it gives you shortcuts here. Control, Option, B for Add Bibliography. The one I typically use, but whatever, you can use any one you want, is uh, Control, Option, A to add citation. So we can just click that. I'm going to add some text about the book I'm reading by Patel. So that's an important sentence there and I borrowed some idea and I need to cite it. I'm just going to hold down control option A and then what it does it takes me to Firefox since this is actually a program that's embedded into it and it says hey what do I want to use? Music, language, and the brain. Okay and I type the page I want page 34. Click OK. Sweet. It adds a little one here. And look down below. It's added it in there for me. It's added my citation. Even cooler, I'm going to say something else. More stuff about Patel. And I'll do it again. Control Option A. Hit this again. And I'm going to hit 35. Now look what happens. IBID 35 does my IBID for me. Kick ass. 